Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. So last time we left off, we got 100% of items in Click Clock Woods, or at least the ones that matter. We got all the moves, we got the notes, and we got all jiggers. So now we can unlock the portrait to the next stage and finish off our last little bit of business in Click Clock Woods. Uh, sorry, not Click Clock Woods. In the uh, 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 Treasure Trove Cove. He's going to give us a tutorial about removing pieces. So I think a little bit later on, if you end up 100%ing all the stages, you can get uh, enough notes to wander around various parts of the Grunter's Lair. And you could also potentially do things out of order a little bit. It also says if you just want to outright you fill up uh, the picture, press R trigger. So I learned recently that, you know, something I skipped when I didn't play the tutorial missions, uh, that if you hold something like RB, the camera will focus behind Banjo. So if you move the camera, press RB, it'll focus behind him. And if you merely tap RB, it'll go behind him once. So last time we hit the witchy switch in. You know, it takes me two days, two days to forget control schemes. But we hit the witchy switch in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, I, I already can't remember the stages or the early stages in Treasure Trove Cove. I'm going to get the, the stage names mixed up so many times. I'm going to be calling them late stages. I'm going to be calling the stages from Banjo Tooie. Probably a lot from Banjo Tooie, considering I'm streaming that at the moment on Twitch. Shameless plug. But no, we're heading on to Clanker's Cavern. So, hidden switch. You know, it fooled me last time I played this. Then another switch. So, bottles counting down the moves. Mumbo's Mountain gave us three new moves. Treasure Trove Cove gave us two new moves. Clanker's Cabin gave us one move. Uh, if this trend keeps on, next stage we'll get zero moves and after that it will start taking them away from us, just to make things harder. So once again, an invulnerability feather does what it says on the tin, makes you invulnerable. Spoiler for the new move we're going to learn this time round. And a Mumbo token, so another spoiler-ish-esque. There's no Mumbo hut on this stage. Oh, there he is, hidden. With just a few eggs. And some easily missed. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> so that is the goodest of boys in this game. Or another very good boy, Clanker. So Clanker is Grunty's garbage disposal. She has an entire cavern dedicated to garbage disposal. If that tells you anything. 
but he doesn't like garbage water. So this has been nightmare fuel for many a children I imagine, probably myself included. But some, some I uh, find him quite cute. And this is where, at least as a child, I felt this spiked the difficulty tremendously. So, Clanker does not like garbage water he lives in, wants some fresh air. This is also why this stage can be terrifying. So Clanker is chained up down here. You've got to free Clanker. But the only way to do that is to turn the key on this lock. However, there's not enough air down here mixed with the to do it. So you've got to turn this key. So really easy when you know the trick. You just do it a couple turns like that. However, if you don't know the trick, if you don't know the controls because they don't give you controls properly for swimming, you'll never know. And it will be tremendously difficult. So that's the first part of this challenge. The next is to collect all the items down here. Well, he's just made this too easy. So that's... I don't remember his name. <laughs> These are friendly trash fish. It's a lie. That's that's my nickname for Clanker. I love Clanker, but he's a big fish made out of trash. So you take no chances down here. You fill up on air whenever you can. That'll do us. That'll be enough to collect the last notes. Get out of here. With a bit of luck anyway. So now you pray to the gods. The the in this case the let's play gods to allow us to not witness our first death of the game. The absolutely horrid drowning death with Banjo gaffs for air. Taking Kazooie with him. That's the first of our jiggies. And the hardest by far in the stage, and probably the hardest for a while. Oh, Clank has just got all the problems. First he wants fresh air, then he wants his teeth fixing. I mean, assuming by the colour of his skin, the teeth are fine. But the idea is you got to bend his teeth inwards, which I don't imagine would be much better. Imagine you just want to rip him out, giant pair of pliers, rip him straight out, melt him down into a jiggy or two. You know, the teeth are big enough you can get at least one jiggy per tooth. Or, you know, sell them to those cash for gold places. Oh god, his eyes are some ver version of bloodshot. Either that or his eyes are just filthy. And the side is the second jiggy of the stage. So half of our shit's going to be inside. 
inside old Clanky here. So if you don't find the Jiggy, or if you don't free Clanky, you can't get most of the Jiggies here. All rests on this big boy. And we soon discover the trash grunt has been throwing away a hoops. So they probably expect you to swim, it's probably faster to do that. Also a bit of a nightmare of the stage if a nightmare of a jiggy if you haven't got if you haven't got the swimming down pat. get a time limit. Oh, and there's a slight, slight delay on going through the final ring and it disappearing. So you think, is there another one? And just as you're about to find out, boom. So these are always valuable. However, when you learn the move, like all moves, you'll get full ammo, so... So I'm thinking they might be parasites. Or they have some sort of... You know... What's the word I'm thinking of? Is it symbiotic relationship with him? Where he eats all this garbage and then if there's anything with any sort of nutrients in or something, they feed off of it and clean his insides. I say clean his insides, clean his insides of organic crap. I imagine there's a lot those tentacles could grow off of inside a big machine fish. Oh, here we go. This is our new move for the stage. You got it in one banjo. So basically, there's the, there's the downside to this move. You can only have 10 gold feathers, which run out very quickly. I'm going to have to go now and try and learn new moves. He only needs to stay one step ahead of us in the moves department. One move per stage or so. And he just keeps us going. So that's what he does in between worlds. Once he's taught us everything, he's just quick to the library or to the internet to learn the next move. And he becomes increasingly more desperate with new moves as we go on. You'll sort of see what I mean. good boys in this game. Right, so that's mainly it for the inside of Clankers from memory anyway. There's one last room inside him. And after that room, this room, 
which is a witch switch. And a jiggy. So these... ah. You can just run past and get all the jiggies. So that's it for the inside of Clankers. So with half the jiggies of the stage and Clanker, Clanker done, we're going to end this part here and pick up the next stage, uh, the second half of the stage next time. So thank you all for viewing and bye for now.